Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh. In the last video, we've discussed one-sided limit. Before we proceed to case number three, there is one more thing that we need to know: the existence of limit. Let's fill in our flowchart in the last slide. Now, how to check if limit exists? You see, for limit to exist, we need to use one-sided limit from both sides. We've seen one-sided limit from our last video. Now. Let's say that limit when x is approaching a from right for the function f(x) is called r and limit when x is approaching a from the left for the function f(x) is called l. If the value of l is equal to the value of r, which means limit from left is equal to the limit from right. Therefore, limit when x approaching a for the function f(x) is equal to the value of l that is also the value of r then we can say that the limit exists but if the value of l is not equal to the value of r which means limit from left is not equal to the limit from right therefore limit when x approaching a for the function f(x) does not exist i know this may sound a bit confusing But I want you to write this down first before we proceed with the examples. I promise it will make more sense with the examples and these notes alongside it. Okay? Now let's see the first example of this. Let's go back to slide number fifteen. We've seen this weird graph in the previous video, and we already know how to find one-sided limits. Now let's check the existence of limit when x is equal to two. As I said earlier, to check whether the limit exists or not, we need to use one-sided limit from both sides. So let's try to find limit when x approaching two from right for this function f(x) first. You know how to do this. Focus at x equals to two, and the graph surrounds it. This and this. Since we want to approach two from the right, we're going to go along this graph here. Therefore, its value is y equals to four. So the value for limit when x is approaching two from the right for this function f(x) is equal to four. Now let's check from the other side. We want to find limit when x is approaching two from the left for this function f(x). To approach x equals to two from the left, we go along this graph, and the value settles at y equals to zero. Therefore, limit when x approaching two from the left is equal to zero. Now, the value from right is equal to four, and the value from left is equal to zero. According to your notes earlier, does the limit exist at x equals to two? No, that's correct. So, to answer this type of question, we must write the reason and its conclusion. So, since limit when x approaching two from right. For the function f(x) is not equal to limit when x approaching two from the left for the function f(x). Therefore, limit when x approaching two for this function f(x) does not exist. So this statement is our reason, and this statement here is our conclusion. Right. So with the graph, this type of question would be super easy to answer. So I want you to try this question on your own. The question asks to show that the limit when x approaching four for the function f(x) exists. You know what to do here. You need to use one-sided limit from both sides. So I'll leave you to it. And as usual, I'll hold the screen for three seconds, and you can pause the video if you need more time. After that, I'll give you the answer. Well, let's see if you got this correct. So to prove whether the limit exists or not, we need to check the limit from both sides. So the limit when x is approaching four from the left for the function f(x) is equal to two, and the limit when x is approaching four from the right for the function f(x) is also equals to two. So to answer this question, you need to have reason and its conclusion. So. Since limit when x is approaching four from the left for the function f(x) is equal to the limit when x is approaching four from the right for the same function f(x), therefore limit when x is approaching four for the function f(x), which is equal to two, does exist. 
make sure to have your statement for reason and your statement for conclusion. Now, let's try without the graph. Again, you've seen this type of question from the previous video and I gave you one trick without actually having to sketch any graphs. You just need to arrange these functions in a number line. So, I'll fast forward a bit here. Alright, let's see question A first. So, to show whether the limit exists or not, we need to find limit from both sides. That means limit x approaching 2 from the left and limit x approaching 2 from the right. The same as before, just like what we did in the previous video, we need to focus at x equals to 2 and the function surrounded. This one first. So we want to approach x equals to 2 from the left. We will use function a. That means we can replace this fx with x plus 2. And we know that to find limit, we just need to substitute this value of x. So this is going to become 2 plus 2 and that is equal to 4. Now, we want to find limit when x is approaching from right. And we already know that approaching 2 from right, we are going to use function b. So, replace this fx with function b here. So, this one become limit x approaching 2 from right for the function x squared. And again, substitute the value of x. This one become 2 squared and this is equal to 4. As you can see here, the value of limit from left and the value of limit from right is equal. Remember to write the reason and the conclusion. So since limit from left is equal to limit from right, therefore limit when x is approaching 2 for the function fx that is equal to 4 does exist. So this is our reason and this is our conclusion. What we're doing in this video is not much different from what we did in the previous video. If you are lost in this video, maybe you need to check again the previous video or check your understanding with your lecturer. Now, I want you to try question B. Pause this video now if you need more time, but I'll hold the screen for 3 seconds. Right, let's see the value for limit when x is approaching 3 from left first. You should replace this fx with function b, that is x squared. So this one will become limit x approaching 3 from left for x squared. And then you should substitute this and your answer should be 9. Next, limit from right. From right, you can replace this function here with function c. So this can become limit x approaching 3 from right with the function 2x plus 3. Again, substitute 3 here, you're going to get 9. Remember, you need to write your reason and the conclusion. So, since limit when x is approaching 3 from left is equal to limit when x is approaching 3 from the right. Therefore, limit when x is approaching 3 for the function fx that is equal to 9 does exist. Okay, so I'll leave question C as your exercise for this video. You can check your answer with your lecturer. Alright then, I'll see you in the next video. Thank you for your attention. Have a great day and take care.